see the market, one of the most infamous markets in this entire area. Seafood, produce, anything you can think of, these guys have it. It's also known for pickpockets. Who knows what else we'll get into. Getsemani district here. This is kind of like Wynwood, if you've heard about that spectacular place. Also referred to as the Brooklyn of Cartagena. Painted walls, Gucci restaurants, everything's starting up, starting to look real good. It's the gentrification process which has kind of happened across the world. There's really no avoiding it at this point, but you know what? With that opportunity, it breeds local prosperity. We're in the real version of Colombia now. We just went outside, get some money, and we're on our way to the Bazerto Market. Certainly, we have uh, guay guayaba, guava, we have the uh, papaya, orange, melon, we have passion fruit, then we have lulu over here. I definitely would recommend you guys trying these guys. Okay. It's called Lulo. Uh, it's, uh, it's Colombia's uh, well favorite juice, basically. That they, okay. they have it a lot. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> All right. Man, that juice was just absolutely unbelievable. I can't believe how good this thing is. Now we're in the realness. This is about as real as Colombia gets, but real markets. Anything and everything you could possibly ask for. Fruit, fish, vegetables, smells, snails, all of it. Tons of it. So this is the, the local fish. So that's the fish that gets cut a lot as you can see because it has little meat. Uh, so when they fry it, it blossoms and you can get, it, get, get all the meat a little bit easier. And then we have here the most eaten fish in Cartagena which is called mojada. Which mojada. is a mojada. So it's basically, um, uh, it's very cheap. It's about 8,000 pesos a kilo. So about, four, so about a little bit more than a dollar per pound. Traffic jam for fish. Terrible. Vale, 1300, vale, 1300. Get some berries. Maracuya. Grenadilla. Are we gonna try grenadilla? Grenadilla. Yes. The kids, they like to open it like this. <laughs> Crack this thing on your head, right? Just crack the shit out of it. There we go. We got it. And then whatever you find inside, you just slurp it out. And it's nice and sweet. There we go. The produce in here is just unbelievable. That's the windpipe. That's the windpipe, yep. That's the trachea. That's the whole... I don't know about you, but I'm starving right now. Whoa, that is unbelievable.
bait for days. I mean, you don't even need to buy marlin baits. These things are like ten dollars a piece where we live. That's a lion fish. They're called look down fish. These are called look down fish. That's a real deal fish market, like you've never seen in your life. Yep, that's a little uh, mutton snapper, uh, lane snapper, blue runners. Those are giant ass tilapias. Just a raging fire in the middle of the day. Frying it up. We got some fried chunks. Got some whole fried fish. This is my kind of scene here. We got snook. That looks like a kingfish or a barracuda steak. What? Well, there's absolutely no shortage of food around here. The most important piece of the puzzle right there. Oh, yeah. mm, I love fried fish. We got some amazing food. This is one of Anthony Bourdain's haunts, and you can see his notoriety spread quite a ways because look at all these white people. That's one way to run a print shop. They got it all over the place in here. This is where they make all of their posters. And then we also have all these different tinctures. So we have one called Amara Hombre, which is to tie down a man. So if you have it, you'll soon find a man. Um, there's some for luck, for money, for being better in the bedroom, whatever, whatever. That's just wild. How about some birds? We've reached the plastic flowers part of the tour. <laughs>